Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are having one very interesting and challenging rational equation. It is a square root of x cube over root 20 minus x plus a square root of 20 minus x whole cube over root x equal to 34. And we are going to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by writing condition on x. So I will be writing for solution to be real, this radicand should be positive. So I can write x should be less than 20 for first denominator and x should be greater than 0 for second denominator or numerator. Now I can consider the intersection of these two. So I will be having x should lie in the interval 0 to 20. So our answer will lie in this interval only. Now I will consider squaring both sides. Whole square, whole square. Now, as per formula a plus b whole square, we have to consider a square plus b square plus 2 times ab. Let's apply this identity. So, a square it will be radical free or square root free. So, x cube over 20 minus x plus b square. So 20 minus x whole cube over x. Now 2 times ab. So 2 times the common square root and then I will be writing x cube over 20 minus x times 20 minus x whole cube over x. And RHS will be 34 a square. Now I can cancel 20 minus x with this power and here power 2 will be left. Same way this cube and x I will cancel and square root x square times 20 minus x whole square. So I can write here 2 times x times 20 minus x. RHS will be 34 a square. And LHS is x cube over 20 minus x plus 20 minus x whole cube divided by x. Now I will use substitution. Let me write here once x cube over 20 minus x plus 20 minus x whole cube divided by x plus 2 times x times 20 minus x equal to 34 whole square. Now let us consider 20 minus x equal to y. Or I can write from here x plus y should be equal to 20. Let's apply and see what will come out. So I will be writing here x cube over y plus y cube over x plus 2xy equal to 34 square. Now I will take LCM in LHS. So it will give us x power 4 plus y power 4 plus 2x square y square divided by x times y. RHS will be 34 square. Or I can write numerator is one perfect square. It is x square plus y square whole square divided by xy equal to 34 square. Now I will cross multiply as xy cannot be 0, x cannot be equal to 0, x cannot be equal to 20. So let's cross multiply. So I will be writing x square plus y square whole square equal to 34 square times x times y. Now I can write x square plus y square as x plus y whole square minus 2xy 
and after that we have power to equal to 34 a square times x y now x plus y was 20 so let me write here this value is 20 so this will become 20 square minus 2 x y whole square equal to 34 square times x y now 20 square is 400 minus 2xy whole square this will be equal to factors of 34 i can write 2 times 17 so 2 power 2 times 17 power 2 times xy now i will take 2 common from this lhs bracket so it will come out as 4 in bracket i will write 200 minus xy whole square RHS will be 4 times, this is 289 times XY. Now we can cancel 4 with 4. So it is 200 minus XY whole square. This will be equal to 289 times XY. Let us write here 200 minus XY whole square this will be equal to 289 times xy now i will use a minus b whole square formula so let us apply this will give us a square so it will be 4 1 2 3 4 plus x square y square minus 400 xy and RHS is 289 times XY. Now I will take all the term to LHS. So X square Y square minus 689 XY plus 40,000 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation in XY. Let us use quadratic formula. So I will write directly xy will be equal to minus b, so 689 plus minus under the root b square, so 689 whole square minus 4ac. So I will write 16, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros divided by 2a, so 2 only, which will be equal to 689 plus minus 689 whole square it is 474721 minus 16 1 2 3 4 zeros divided by 2 further i can write 689 plus minus the square root of this value will be 314 Seven two one divided by two, and this is square root value is five hundred and sixty one. So I'll be writing x y value as six eighty nine plus minus five hundred and sixty one divided by two. With plus sign, it will be one thousand two hundred fifty over two. With minus sign, it will be 128 divided by 2, which will give us 625 and 64. So, this is the value of xy. Remember, our substitution was y equal to 20 minus x. This was our substitution. Now I will use condition on x. x should lie in the interval 0 to 20. So I can write or I can multiply this inequality by minus 1. So I will be writing x. This inequality will get reversed. So minus x and this sign will be reversed and minus 20. Now my target is to achieve 20 minus x. Add 20 to this inequality. So 20. 20 minus x, 0. 
now this is y so i will write y will lie in the interval 0 to 20 and x is lying in the interval 0 to 20 so i will multiply these two inequalities so i can write from here x y should lie in the interval 0 to 400 so on this ground i can reject 625 as this is greater than 400 so only accepted x y value that would be 64 so i will write here x y equal to 64 now y was our substitution 20 minus x so i'll be writing x times 20 minus x equal to 64 20x minus x square equal to 64 take all the terms to rhs x square minus 20x plus 64 equal to 0 now this is one quadratic equation and i can use formula also i can use factorization method also let's use factorization so i can write here minus 20x as minus 16x minus 4x this is our minus 20x plus 64 equal to 0 so from first two terms we can take x common out in bracket x minus 16 would be there from last two terms we can take minus 4 common again we will get the same bracket x minus 16 so x minus 16 is overall common second bracket i will have x minus 4 equal to 0 conclusion is x would be equal to 4 or 16 let us cross examine whether it is true or not so let me write here check and i will begin with x equal to 4 solution and before that let me take LCM of LHS. So I can write it would be x square plus 20 minus x whole square divided by root x times root 20 minus x. This would be better for our calculations. Now let us write LHS. So x equal to 4. I will write 4 square plus 20 minus 4, 16 square over root x, so root 4 times root 20 minus 4, so root 16. So I can write 4 square is 16, 16 square is 256, root 4 is 2, root 16 is 4. This addition is 272, denominator is 8. I will get 34, which is our RHS. Now let us consider our second solution, x is equal to 16. Now I will be considering LHS once again. This time I will be writing 16 square plus 20 minus 16, 4 square only position will switch denominator will be this time root 16 first then times root 4 so answer we will get it would be same 272 over 8 which will be 34 which is our rhs and this brings the end of the video do not forget friends to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video Good luck, take care of yourself and happy Diwali to all family members of Infigyan. Bye-bye.